GitHub Copilot is an AI assistant for developers that increases the average development by 25%. This is my statement. This is what I want to show you today, how it does it and if it does it and where it does it. That's what we want to tackle. My name is Alexander Richter. I'm a technical director for visual effects, animation and games. And I'm also a coach for job application interview and contract negotiation. And previously I worked at WetFX, Framestore and Macrovision on Avatar The Way of Water, Chan Chi and the Ten Rings and Monsters at work and i'm no stranger to working with pipelines with python code that became an important part of my job obviously i'm also training python courses python for maya and so on so for me it was always important to find ways to optimize my workflow to optimize my way so i'm someone who on one side is a little bit hesitant of going into the buzzword of ai and just believing everything that's going on especially with the big boost with chat gpt for me it's always important to make sure that when you use a tool like AI, like ChatGPT, like GitHub Copilot, that is actually useful versus the promise. And then you spend endless amount of time trying to get things right versus just make it and then it works. For me, this was an interesting adventure to figure out what is GitHub. Copilot. GitHub Copilot is a plugin for especially Visual Studio Code. It's directly implemented in Visual Studio Code, so you can actually change your code and access everything. The other side, it is GitHub, so basically you have an environment where you can access it in GitHub itself. You can chat with it on GitHub and you can do code reviews. So this is how it looks like if you open Visual Studio Code and if you have GitHub Copilot open there's a chat box if you're familiar with chat gpt it's no big surprise at the end of the day it's a chat ai that you can give commands you can talk to you can ask questions you can interact it's an ai assistant but directly in visual studio code so what does that mean in the result in the result it means if we compare chat gpt it's like we open a browser we give it actions like asking to write code. Nowadays, it actually has a few UI updates like this. So it gives us a little bit more extra visual flair. But if you do that in Visual Studio Code, we actually have GitHub Copilot accessing our code, changing our code, writing the code inside the environment, which is obviously much more practical at the end of the day. So we can literally ask and communicate with GitHub Copilot and it will either write new scripts, for example, hey, write as an image resizer tool, create this, create that, or we can do the same thing for current code. So we can tell it, look at following scripts, this, this, and this, like workspaces, working sets, it's called, and then it will do the action that we want. For example, can you optimize this? I need a feature, there is a bug. And then basically what GitHub Copilot does, it accesses the code directly. There is no copy paste involved from a browser like in ChatGPT and it changes it. And then you can decide, do you want to accept the changes? You will see them highlighted in red and blue, basically the previous and the new one. You can decide which one you like, which one you don't like, and you can accept or not. And then you can prompt like you did with ChatGPT. So it's Google 2.0. If you think about, if someone today will tell you, oh, you know what, I'm a developer, I don't Google. You would say, what? You don't Google? What do you do? Oh, I, I, I read books, I, you know, I think about it and so on. And then you would say, yeah, that's a waste of time. Maybe you get to the solution, but if you don't Google, you have the whole library, forums and so on. So you don't get to your solution as quickly who is Google. And I think that is where AI, especially things like Git Copilot coming into, it's becoming the Google 2.0. I don't say it's the only solution. I don't say it's a replacement, but I say it is something that if you don't use it, especially with the following years, you lose a little bit of the speed that you need. You know, at the same time, you don't want to become unskilled using it. So the idea is of something like Git Copilot to use it as what it is. It's an AI coding assistant. For example, I compared the classic way, which means skills, Google forums versus Copilot, for example, to fix a bug. And in my case, I had this bug, which took me 37 minutes, 28 seconds to solve by myself. It could have been 12 minutes maybe on a good day, but it would definitely not be three minutes and two seconds, which took uh, Copilot to solve. I asked one of my student testers for the course, 
to do the same. And what came out, she, for example, took 45 minutes to solve it by herself, and it took her five minutes to solve it with Copilot. I did a few use cases, for example, converted Python 2 to Python Free. I created an operation application from scratch. It was a image resizer. You know, you want maybe all your images in the folder down to HD from 2K or something like that without doing that manually, throwing it into Photoshop or whatever you use. Creating an application in a DCC, I applied coding style and things. So everyone who is in my Python Advanced Masterclass knows that. A very important part of coding is to write PEP8 conform or coding style conform code. It's a key to become a good programmer in a team. And I asked Copilot, to look at my code and improve it into coding style, which means it could not only save me time to do things, it could also teach me certain things that I didn't know. It's like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that this is better. Okay, good to know. One of my students gave me his application he wrote on a final application. The goal is to use Copilot to understand the script and add a new feature to a script that I have no idea about. Using it as an assistant to guide me through all this element. We look at GitHub Copilot, I explain it in more depth. We look at examples, we see the benefits, I explain what you can do to optimize it and so on and so forth. And that is the Python Copilot.